Uh, Paul, 2-1 victory this afternoon. The uh, the slim hope's still there, isn't it? Yeah, but I've never lost it. Probably the worst thing in life, I hope, sometimes. Uh, <laughs> but no, I, I said we, we will never give up as a group. Never, ever give up. We're still there. I think we've now secured the top half finish. Compared to where the club were last year, we're on 69 points, I think. 69 finished fourth last year. So the uh, the change has been, been remarkable. And it's, it's all down to the, the lads in the dressing room. They've been different class. We, we just told them. The main aim today is still... still be in there next year, yeah, uh, next week. Sorry, we knew that there would be the results would have to go our way, but we're still there, we're still hanging in there, we're still fighting. And obviously, from your perspective, coming into this game, you knew that uh, these guys have had a really, really good season. So, did they set up ex exactly as you expected them to? We knew it was going to be tough. We knew they normally played 4 4 2. They'll be the next up at times. I've got experience, we've got Andrew Wisdom, played uh, the highest level, we've got Peter Clark, has played about eight, nine hundred games in the AFL. They've got experienced players, got two really quick wingers, but uh, if I'm honest, I thought we were really dominant throughout the full game. If there's any disappointment or any criticism of us, it's the amount of chances we had and we didn't, didn't put the game to bed. Uh, so we're a little bit disappointed with that, but we're on what game 45 now and we're looking forward to game 46 and we're, we're still there. And, and uh, We've got to share that our words for supporters, look at the men's again. And, they come in the numbers, and I know they're, they're, they're obviously a bit vibrant with the fancy dress and stuff like that, which is brilliant. There's a few, uh, there's a few lookalikes of me in there as well. So, uh, no, just a really, really big thanks to them, and and, and we know they'll turn up the numbers next year, uh, next week, and, and we'll just get that go. Ollie Southern obviously was on the team sheet at two o'clock, uh, but he didn't start. What happened? Ollie's got something I think it's called Penif. Or something like that, but it's basically sciatica, and sciatica is one of those things that it can be there one minute and then disappear and then come back again. And, and he was fine, he, he's trained this week, uh, but it just flared up in the warm up. And, and I just thought I'd, I'd sat him down and I said, Think with your, your head rather than your heart, and then you want to play and stuff like that. Uh, just be honest, and, and he was in a bit of pain, so I respect him for being honest and, and, and using a little bit of. But I now stay in terms of uh, he didn't want to let the team down, so we just put Jed straight back into right back and, and brought Topi into the team. And uh, Lewis Hudson obviously got his first goal for the club, um, and he was involved in the sending off as well, wasn't he? So he had an eventful afternoon. Yeah, he did. Had he, uh, had he scored, I think he scored a couple at, uh, at Russell, so we knew, we knew he could get forward and get past people, but at times when he's when he's playing behind, he should be telling to hold his run at times just so he can go 1v1 because. You see, especially in the first half, he's, he's difficult to defend. Uh, but Huddy just picks his moments and when he can go past him, when he can't, and got, got his goal. And that got us off to a good start. And, and the sending off, I think that Huddy's one of those old school defenders. When he, when he goes to win the ball, he wins it. But if the man's there, then he'll win the ball and he'll take the man. That's just, it's probably been out of the game a little bit. But I think there was a bit of, a bit of retaliation with the. With the uh, I don't think the lad was too happy at the time, and then I think he's caught him, caught him off the ball. I couldn't really see too much, of it, to be honest, but the, the linesman was right there. So. And obviously Tuesday night, uh, Boston play Banbury, don't they? So that, I guess, is now key. Where are you Tuesday night? Do you go to the game? Are you watching it? Or how are you following uh, it? We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll just go about our own business. We'll, we'll train Tuesday night as, as normal, even if Boston go and win. We, we know we'll probably need a, a lengthy, lengthy amount of goals or a lot of goals in the last game of the season. but. Who cares? We're still there. No matter what happens, we've secured the top half. We, uh, we're really proud, proud of the group. We're proud of the job we've done. We're proud of the supporters for coming along and doing the ways. And, and uh, we'll see what happens. Stranger things have happened in football. Uh, someone, uh, I've probably been a bit selfish here, 10 years ago I scored a goal to keep running up and someone keeps reminding me it was 10 years ago. Things just fly in so quickly. You just never know what can happen in football. So the, the message before the game was give yourself an opportunity to be involved. In a, in, a, in a race to try and get into the playoffs, and we are. No one would have ever thought we could have been in this place at the start of the season. I genuinely didn't. I've said it many times, and it's not been unrealistic. It's just it's not been negative. It's just been realistic. It's, it's exactly came into a club with with no players. We couldn't keep the players due to the, the budget, the, the the financial strain on the club from the previous few years, and, and uh, I think collectively with the board and the and the but the most important and, and all the credit needs to go to the players and the supporters because it's them that's got the club back on its feet. And just finally, next Saturday, regardless of the situation that the club finds itself in ahead of kickoff, it feels like it's going to be a real celebration of what's been achieved this season. Yeah, I don't like things like that, but I think that bring a carnival atmosphere. Let's just go and enjoy it because we're in the situation. Go and enjoy it. Now. There's no no pressure on us. There's, the pressure's on everyone else. We've yeah. just got to go and look after ourselves. What happened will happen, but a celebration for, for the players rewarding that for, uh, for their efforts this year. And, 
and we know the supporters will get behind us. We just want as many in the, in the gate as we possibly as many through the doors as we possibly can, and, and we'll do everything we can, like we have done throughout the full season, to to repay them, and, and we're just uh, we're just really proud to to be where we are. Paul, thank you. Brilliant stuff. Cheers. Thank you.